Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bluegrass Waterfowl Farms weekly update that we do. Uh, like I always say, if you're not subscribed to our channel, we would definitely appreciate it. If you'd hit that subscribe button and uh, feel free to share our videos. We just kind of go over a few things each week. Sometimes it seems like a repeat, and then sometimes we got some new stuff. And today is going to be one of them days uh, we got some new stuff going on. <laughs> but uh, my wife, she's finishing up in the brooder building here. She's cleaning and changing everything out. She uh, she pretty much takes care of everything in here. She's like, just get out of my way, leave me alone. I got a system, so I'll let her take care of it. But we got, everything's about the same in here. Uh, need to turn some ducks loose, but I gotta get the ones that's outside here turned loose before I can get these turned out. So we're gonna have to stay in here uh, another day or two, I think they'll be all right. Okay. This was our uh, <clears throat> last ones that hatched off the ring tails and a couple of uh, black-bellied black tree ducks. No, and I, I still have a black bellies in here and a little ruddy that probably is not gonna thrive because he's about a week old and don't look like he's grown much. And we've been doing a lot of research, talking to a lot of different breeders and I believe from what we have come to a conclusion on is that they are just inbred is what their problem is. They, uh, of course, we don't know exactly for sure that the parents are not related or not, so Hopefully we got a couple more pairs coming in this fall. We're gonna kind of split everybody up and hopefully get the bloodline mixed up. And, but that's what pretty much everybody has said. They got enough strength to develop and hatch and survive for a week or so, but then they just die, so. Everybody says the same thing pretty much. That, you know, they're just inbred and the bloodline is too weak, so. But we think we know what's going on and we are definitely gonna work on getting it fixed. And here's all the items and I think there's one black bellied in there. And these actually need to be over in one of these brooders, but I don't have one empty. So we start them, the items, we start them off in here on a flat surface because we noticed a couple, three years ago when we started raising them that their feet was so small. And I know this kind of don't make sense to some people, but we use a half inch coated chicken wire in the bottom of the brooders. And we can run uh, cinnamon teals, hot and tot, silver teals, uh, ring teals, everything in there, the small ducks, and we don't ever have no issues. But when we run the items in there, the items feet get stuck down in the wire for some reason. And I can't figure it out because they're the only ones that do that. But anyway, we learned and we start them out over here on a flat surface until they usually get up to two to three weeks old and then we'll put them over in a brooder and we don't have no issues. 
And we still got uh, one ruddy, some tufteds, wood ducks, mandarins uh, in here. And I know a lot of people keep messaging me and everything, and I'm, you know, I'm sorry, <laughs> but we don't have anything available right now. Uh, maybe a few more wood duck drakes is about it. And, uh, I mean, that's good for us. I know bad for the ones that's wanting stuff. And, uh, like I said, uh, I don't know. It's just, watch her. She'll get mad if I put her in the video. Let's see. What do we want to talk about? Let's, uh, oh, let's go ahead and show you what happened this week. Then, then we'll go in the uh, Avery or the jungle, if you want to call it that. I'll tell you some more about the jungle. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Where did these come from? What's up, guys? What y'all doing, guys? These are our South American comb duck drakes. Uh, Joe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe, and I will not try to pronounce his last name, but I got a article on uh, Facebook if you want to check it out. Joe from the Nashville Zoo, he is the curator over the avian department down there. He brought these up to us. These are, some people call them the new world comb duck. And then you have the old world comb duck. But we got a couple guys here and we're hoping that we can uh, find them a couple of girls and that we can successfully raise a few of those. And we've had a few leads. And uh, there's a couple people that is working to try to help us out. And there's a couple that we want to stay away from. Uh, I've been talking around and finding out that uh, I'm not mentioning no names and please don't ask because I won't do that but there is a couple lines out there that's kind of inbred a little and we want to try to stay away from them but uh, if y'all know anybody that has the new world combed up the south american uh feel free to leave me a comment send me a message or something i would definitely appreciate it i'd be tickled to death just to find one female but we would like to have a couple and everything down here is still the same we got everything down here still pretty much the same. And uh, I will say we uh, made a road trip yesterday. Kind of went north. 
going about all day. But uh, picked up a, another bloodline on the uh, silver wood ducks. And, you know, I know <clears throat> what I'm, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, not to sound cocky or nothing like that, because y'all know me, y'all know that I'm not that way. But I know what I'm doing. I've been tracing down the bloodlines of the silver wood ducks that we have. And we went and picked up a new bloodline yesterday. And I got another new bloodline coming in this fall. And uh, we are, we're working on getting our own bloodline built up. And uh, if you know anything about raising the mutations, you know that they have a weak gene and a lot of times when you hatch them off, some of them's going to die on you. They're not going to make it. And I'm proud to say that we have not lost a single mutation this year that we've hatched off. I think we are getting our bloodline built up good and strong. And we're going to be adding two different bloodlines to it this coming year and then we're going to concentrate on them and I believe that we're going to have a good bloodline go going for the silver wood ducks and for the platinum wood ducks I don't know about the ones in the brooders yet because we haven't sexed them but I know these out here I have three silvers and all three of them will be drakes. And I think there's four platinums. And all four of them are females. And I don't have none available. Uh, you know, I've done talk to a few people. And have uh, everything worked out. But uh, I know several people wanted some. And unfortunately, we didn't raise that many. And like I said, we're keeping some back to build our own bloodlines up. So hopefully next year we will have several available. I just can't wait for them to get fully colored out so I can show y'all but you see the one in the back up there against the fence that's a platinum female and then the one in front and behind her is a silver male and then there's an apricot And there's the other silver male. And then they got two platinum females there. But y'all, like I said, bear with me. What's up, guys? These are actually calm and cool. I mean, I could almost touch them if I wanted to. But I'm not going to, I don't bother them. I just let them chill out. All right, all right, y'all. <laughs> I said welcome to the jungle because I did mow, even though it don't look like it. We had a little rain, and I'm supposed to get some more rain today, actually. But 
I got to get in here and weed eat. And it seems like every time I get the chance, there's something going on. But, uh, only thing that I know of still, unless something is laid today and surprised me, easy. Y'all gonna have to chill out there. Some silver tails over here. I hope they'll lay again. Item. Something keeps, I'm probably gonna have to end up taking these in the house and putting them in the incubator and I was really not wanting to do that, but something keeps coming in here and rolling her eggs out. Trying to see how come I need to weed eat. But anyhow, they got the item laying. And uh, I got a ringtail setting. And I got one ruddy setting. I'm gonna try to try to come in here starting maybe in the morning and try to catch a few birds out. I gotta catch the falcated, I gotta catch the tufted, I gotta catch the hottentots, I gotta catch the green wings, I gotta catch the pintails, I gotta catch the black bellies, and I gotta catch the manions. So, that's gonna take a while. I don't know if y'all are a member or watched my videos the last couple years i would uh take a piece of netting and uh run it up and down through here but the pompous grass has got so big and thick now i don't have really no room to get in there and i believe it'll be just as easy to come in here with two or three of us and uh walk them over here in the corner and catch a few and then give them a day to chill out and then maybe come in here Wednesday morning and try to catch a few more. I believe that's going to be a little easier. Uh, we'll find out and see how it goes. Doing pretty good. You're just keep an eye on me. I got on a white t-shirt and I usually got on a blue or green shirt. And it seems like when I wear something that's a different color, it kind of trips them out there for a little while. Oh, she, did she come out here? No, she's still setting. You see the ring tail setting? She's sitting in there. Now she comes out. <laughs> okay. That's the ringtail eggs. And then the 
muddy duck sitting here. Uh, probably going to have to pull her eggs about Tuesday or Wednesday. So they don't hatch and get out on the water. My feeds, feed station, feed shelter, whatever you want to call it. But every morning they get a big old bag of peas and then they eat some dog food or fish food. They don't eat a whole lot of it, but some of them, I think the divers will eat some of it. And our pellets and our wild bird seed scratch mix. But well, hopefully we get some more rain here as well. Everybody chilling out and doing good so far. So. I was actually hoping that other ruddy would lay again. Both the drakes are still in full color, so maybe she'll lay another clutch and, and hatch a few more off if we get them to live and grow up. So. Any, any questions, comments, y'all hit me up. Uh, I'm gonna finish up here and check everybody out again. Y'all have a great rest of the day. Stay safe. And we'll catch y'all next week. Thank y'all.